When you picture the American Old West, you probably picture Monument Valley. Situated on the border of Arizona and Utah on the Navajo Nation Reservation in the southwestern United States, Monument Valley is a breathtaking and iconic natural wonder. It's renowned for its striking and otherworldly landscape characterized by towering sandstone buttes, mesas, and red rock formations. But there are also many other iconic spots nearby. Join us as we explore this magnificent valley and its less visited but equally spectacular nearby locations. Goulding's Trading Post, Mexican Hat, Gooseneck State Park, the Moki Dugway, and Mully Point. Here we go! In the 1930s, Harry Goulding and his wife settled in Monument Valley, Utah to run a trading post. They befriended the local Navajos and ran the only store in the area. Goldings now boasts an inn and a really nicely located RV park. The RV park has some of its own hiking nearby and gave us a taste for what was to come. The Great Depression hit this area hard, and the Goldings, attracted by the natural beauty of the area, undertook a bold initiative to attract Hollywood filmmakers to Monument Valley. They decided to write letters to influential directors, producers, and studios, pitching the breathtaking landscape of Monument Valley as the perfect movie backdrop. Impressed by the Goldings' pitch, director John Ford visited Monument Valley in 1938. He was immediately captivated by the stunning scenery, the towering buttes, and the vast open landscapes. Ford recognized that this location was like no other in the world. So Ford agreed to film his next movie, Stagecoach, in 1939 in Monument Valley. This marked the beginning of a fruitful collaboration between Ford and the Goldings, which would continue for years and began what would become a lucrative relationship between Hollywood, Goulding, and the Navajo Nation, as countless movies and TV shows and commercials have since been filmed in this iconic location. Of 
quiet. Quiet, he's gonna say something. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. Now what are we supposed to do? And just like that, my running days was over. So I went home to Alabama. Monument Valley is operated by the Navajo Nation as a tribal park. There is one 17 mile loop open to the public and it can be a rough drive. I'm sure glad we had a high clearance four wheel drive truck Access to more remote areas of the park are only available with a Navajo guide. Twenty-five miles northeast of Gouldings, just over the San Juan River, is the town of Mexican Hat and the Mexican Hat Rock Formation. It was named after its resemblance to a Mexican sombrero. You be the judge. Just west of Mexican Hat, the San Juan River bends sharply down deep, dramatic, and intricate meandering canyons. Gooseneck State Park offers some stunning views. After World War II, the demand for uranium rose greatly, and getting the uranium from the higher elevation mines was a challenge. The construction of the Moki Dugway was an engineering feat as it involved carving a switchback road into the sheer sandstone cliffs of Cedar Mesa.
The road descends approximately 1,200 feet over a distance of just three miles. The term dugway refers to a road that has been dug or excavated into a steep slope. After conquering the Moki Dugway, we entered some higher altitude forests and drove to the edge of the San Juan River overlooking the greater Monument Valley area. This is truly a quiet and peaceful and beautiful place. We hope you enjoyed this episode and would consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Next episode, we venture into two national parks, do some boondocking, see real dinosaur tracks, and take a secret way into Arches National Park. Well, maybe a rough way is a better term. See you next time and thanks for watching. <laughs>